Tim, breaking news on the call between Congressman James Comer and FBI Director Christopher Wray. Congressional correspondent Kilmeny Ducart has all the details from Capitol Hill. Kilmeny. Katrina, Bob, good to be with you. That call was set to take place just about an hour and a half ago, and a GOP source told me that the phone call between House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer and the FBI's director, Christopher Wray, did not go well. They added that the temperature is just simply too high. There's been a lot of posturing on both ends. You'll remember that the FBI is insisting that they're not willing to hand over that document. Oversight says they haven't even acknowledged that they have this document because they're worried about confidentiality, giving up human sources, which the Oversight Committee has sought to make many assurances here that they would provide protections. They wouldn't reveal who that person is uh, that is, again, giving out this, this document, this unclassified FD-1023 document. But again, remember that this phone call is taking place a day after that deadline, that missed deadline. So we know that the House Oversight Committee is going to go move forward with those contempt uh, proceedings to hold them in contempt of Congress. That is something that we've also heard from the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. They've said the FBI's decision to stiff arm Congress and hide information from the American people is obstructionist and unacceptable. And they're going to move forward with these proceedings for their failure to comply with that congressional subpoena. Bob, Katrina. All right, Kimani, thank you. That's right.